Okay guys, so something I very much recommend to start the game with. Um, the most recommended class, because I'm so used to starting every game like Diablo or many other games as straight up warrior, um, you end up quickly getting bored because you know the score, you know this, what it's generally going to be, it's just going to be slice, 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 probably a bash, probably a, a knockdown, probably a whirlwind, probably a jump slam. That's kind of it. It's it's always roughly the same. There's no diversity to things. Um, so I always recommend, like especially for this game, is go as the mage because your party. You're generally gonna have a sword and shield person. That's uh, her there. You'll have your healer, and you'll have either um, the two. I, I've not got him yet, but when I get the canary, he'll be he'll be the two-handed guy. I won't have an archer, right? Because I'll, I'll want someone being a separate healer because I want to be pure damage as a mage. I mean, I could have heal spells, but it's handy when someone is pure that. I mean, later on I may become the healer so we can have an archer, a super mage, a sword and shield, and a, a two-handed greatsword guy or axe, whatever. But I recommend being being the mage because it's a lot more fun. Because, yeah, you got your big spells, you can... Set, set things off. It just things just look a lot better. It's it's more aesthetically pleasing to to be to be a mage. I mean, things just look better, uh, and that keeps it more fun. Because yes, you've got your choice of spirit, which is like earth heals, shields, uh, stone, which obviously is all the like damage paralysis kind of things. Uh, obviously, kind of connects with things. A uh, fire is predominantly like damage uh, and burns and and other things like that, you know. And obviously, ice. This is like for your ma uh, to fade away magic stuff. And so yeah, you. Where is it? Oh, is it? No, no, that one's the magic missile. Sorry, I was, I was thinking of that for the eldritch sort of sphere. But this is obviously your freezes and all your crowd control kind of things so, so it gives you a good variation yeah freezing so you good crowd control fire it's so a heavy damage and that's kind of why you don't you want a separate person being the healer because the points you end up spending on these you would have missed out on some very good damage spells and crowd control ones, especially in the earlier games so that's why you want someone else dedicated healer and then on this so that's for me i i, I just recommend that for so, so it's not Boring, because I started off Sword and Shield, and I quickly realised it's just going to be this. Yeah, I, which I I full well knew, but it's it's a general comfort thing of knowing. Yeah, heavy armor, Sword Shield. Yeah, for the win. But no, nah, the most fun way to play this game, same in Elder Scrolls Online, and same with most games. Being the mage, yes, you got the the worst armor, the weakest armor, but you, it's the most fun to play because it's the most diverse spells and it's the most diverse looking. There's a lot more to it, a lot more different builds. There's a lot of more, just a lot of fun you can get out of it. Plus, the range on on being a mage is monstrous. Like, I use this as an example. That wall is miles away. I don't need to be nowhere near it. Yeah, I can even fire big spells and they'll hit it. I, mean, I am miles away. No one else even needed to get engaged, and I can do. Right, watch. I'll, if I find someone in here, these guys there, I don't even need to be near them. I could just set that off. I oh, know I can't. I'm a bit too far away. I had to go through there. There you go. This guy is miles away. He, he wasn't miles away. I can do things a lot further, but. Yeah, you know, I don't need to be anywhere near things, but I can I can chuck a shield on some of my guys if you need it. But this guy is obviously getting close. But yeah, they, they will hit you, they will hurt you, but just keep on top of things. It's pretty. It's just a fun way to play, I think. That guy should be dead in a sec. So he can do a lot of damage. Uh, he's actually got quite a lot of health. Oh, he seems like a boss. I'm shooting at someone else. There you go. I'm shooting at the other guy. 
you can kind of see what I mean. This, get, your, get your two weapons in there. You'll have this guy who's doing damage and heal. He will heal. It's just very early in the game. So he's kind of not got the heals going yet. Mainly because I ain't got any fucking heals yet. But he will do later on. Oh my god. Like, look how far away we are. Stay a bit. So I mean, this guy's blasting all this the ice magic. That's what I really want to get the ice magic the stuff. Time being. Stay so have those Templars to worry about, though. Stay with these all. I've run out of health. But yeah, that's it from me, guys. Um, that is 100% what I think uh, you should do to have the best play in this game. Go mage first. Yeah, hopefully that helps you out. I'll quickly go through the, like, not go through, but I'll, I'll hover over the spell so you can quickly read. Yeah, so you can pause it. Yeah, so that's what the barrier is. Obviously, that, the add on from there is that. Onto the Guardian Spirit. Onto the Mind Blast. Then onto the uh, Fortifying Blast. Onto the Strength of Spirits. Onto the Revival, which are amazing, obviously. So I am semi thinking about having quite a lot of these, but hey ho. We'll see how it goes. Dispel, trans transmute magic, rejuvenating barrier, onto storm. We'll see that. The energy barrage, onto the better version of it, and onto that, which is the conduct current. Conducted current. Then we go from here. Chain lightning. Uh, that one on the chain lightning. Stormbringer, lightning bolt. Stronger version of the lightning bolt. Gathering Storm, Static Charge, Static Cage, Lightning Cage. Yeah, uh, onto the Fire. So we've got the Emoliate, which is that circle I placed on the ground that explodes. And I've got that. This is the one that fires straight at them. And then you got that. Flashpoint, which will be quite good. Uh, the Pyromancer, Chaotic Flame. Clean burn, wall of fire, lasting flames, fire mine, which is a monster, yeah, and the searing glyph, and the ice one, uh, yeah, phase phase step onto the better version of the phase step, frost step. I think that'll be that's gonna be very good. I might get that. Yeah, I should definitely get that. Uh, winter's grasp. Uh, both of these I definitely should get. Uh, frost mastery. Winter a bit. Mm. Mana Surge, Wall of Ice, Glacial Strength, Ice Mine, Bit of Glyph, Ice Armor, Blizzard, and Ice Storm. I kind of want to like max Fire and Ice. Mm. Really control it. But yeah, that's it, guys. Um, definitely, if you want to enjoy this game to the best, then obviously go Mage. Yeah, so don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.